What's going on guys? I'm feeling so much better. If you didn't know, I was sick. I had food poisoning. Okay, so I need to talk about this because not a lot of people know what to do. Not a lot of people know what to do when they're sick. So I wanted to go over that with all of you guys. So I had food poisoning. I had tacos, staying away from, or at least eating them in my house only for the unforeseeable future. Uh, keep you guys posted on that. But in all seriousness, um, so food poisoning, what happens is obviously something's not cooked correctly, you eat it, and then, like I said, your body just gets rid of it one way or the other. You're throwing up, you're shitting it out, something, right? So, what kind of goes along with that? You get very dehydrated, your electrolytes go down, and your body's just trying to get rid of whatever the toxin is that's in there that it doesn't like that made it sick, okay? Your body obviously feels like crap because it kind of had that bug or that uncooked food in there, so your body's trying to kind of heal itself and everything else. Obviously, you ridding yourself of everything that's in your body, all that good stuff too, uh, your body kind of has to rebuild itself, your immune system can kind of weaken a little bit, so you kind of got to be uh, aware of that, okay? So, drinking plenty of fluids. Um, what I was really doing was making sure I drank Pedialyte. That's full of electrolytes, that's full of, like I said, that's, that's what's gonna rehydrate you, okay? So hydration is primary, first and foremost, absolutely. Um, I took Pepto-Bismol, that's just something that's gonna kinda calm your stomach down and kinda quit having those uh, bad symptoms, I guess, like kinda like your stomach rumbling and everything else, like you going to the bathroom nonstop. So doing those things is immediately going to kinda help put you on the right path, get back in motion. So, I did not train, obviously, while I was in that state, so that happened on Tuesday. Wednesday, I felt terrible. I was probably like 20, 25% maybe. Felt terrible, no energy, just wanted to rest, just wanted to lay down, just wanted to sleep. I am not, I'm obviously back to being myself, but at that time, I was not, okay? You're not good for anybody, you can't really do very much. Sorry, I wanted to go to the lift truck, go by. Um, Obviously, as I rehydrated and everything else, and I felt like I was kind of coming back to life, I was eating very, very bland foods, plain chicken, chicken and noodles. You know, when you're sick, you just kind of got to get down what you can get down. Um, chicken and noodles is a go-to for me. That's something that I've always kind of done. It's just a very basic food. It kind of has a little bit of everything in it. It's got your protein, it's got your carbs, and it's got a little bit of healthy fats in it too, from just like the meat, the chicken stock, and everything else. So kind of be cognizant of that and you consuming that, or whatever it is that works for you. So I had that for, you know, 24, 36 hours. And like I said, I'm obviously starting to get more food in my system and everything else. You obviously lose weight, don't sweat. Those big workout junkies, don't just think because you have food poisoning, you get sick, you gotta go to the gym, you gotta go hard and everything else. Remember, when you train, you're eliciting stress. You're wearing down your immune system, only to build it back up stronger. So, if you are sick, you have to be cognizant and you have to think about if you want to train or if you don't want to train. If you're feeling really under the weather and you are below 80, 80%, 85, 80%, I would recommend not training. That's probably not a smart move for you. You're probably, the risk versus reward is not good. If you are prepping for something, then you kind of got to be smart and you got to get back on the horse, right? But you also want your body to heal so then you can do what you need to do because you're going to hold water and everything else. Now. If you are above 80 or 85% and you're just a little tired, like maybe you didn't sleep great the night before, you could probably push it a little bit, but listen to your body. You know, your nervous system is probably not gonna be recovered, so you might not be able to move as much weight. Take it, take your percentages down a little bit and you can go. So be cognizant about that. When you're dehydrated, uh, when you're you're not eating a lot of food, that is kind of a bad mixture. One, your muscles aren't gonna work properly. Two, you're not gonna feel great when you're doing it. And three, you're only gonna dehydrate, dehydrate yourself worse, okay? So, hydration, hydration, hydration. Like I said, I mentioned that with the food poisoning. Even just with the general sickness, you have to stay hydrated. You want some sort of vegetable, you want something that's gonna kinda help your body have like some sort of base and get some alkalinity back into it. Obviously, vitamins are huge, so, um, when I get sick, when I had food poison, I did not do this. Like I said, I was getting so much from the Pedialyte and stuff like that, I just kind of left it alone and let my body kind of take its natural course. I waited uh, Wednesday, Thursday. I didn't take vitamins until yesterday, which was Friday, okay? So I took my vitamins again yesterday, act like everything was normal, and I felt fine. So biggest vitamins that you want to take to help build your immune system, vitamin D is huge. That's obviously going to help you with sun. That just helps your immune system in general. 
um, vitamin C. Vitamin C is great, you hear about that all the time. I'm not talking about the emergency, I'm not criticizing them. That's great if you need a quick shot of vitamin C, but you want some sort of great medical grade supplement that's going to help you that you can kind of grab and take whenever you can rely on. Vitamin D, vitamin C. Last thing, it, well not the last thing, but uh, vitamin A. Vitamin A is an antiviral. Taking this is like, that's what's gonna help wipe out any type of virus you have. So. Most of the time, like if you go to the doctor, they're like, oh, it's viral, oh, it's viral. There's not any type of bacteria in there, so we're not gonna prescribe antibiotics, yada, yada. If you have a virus, okay, your body's gonna try to fight it and everything else. So if you take vitamin A, that's actually gonna help kill that virus. Now, I'm not just taking, talking about 2,000 I use or whatever, I'm talking about a large abundance. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not gonna sit here and prescribe to you a specific amount. Do your research, figure it out, but everybody's different ultimately, so what might work for you and what might work for me are two different things. But um, taking a large dose of vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin D when you're sick for a short period of time can help and that can be very effective. Also another thing that gets overlooked way too often is zinc. Zinc is responsible for a ton of processes in the body. I think it's like north of 500. So when it comes to your immune system, those are my four go-tos that I highly recommend everybody take. Now you don't have to take them all on a daily basis, but I would for sure make sure that you're taking a maintenance dose of vitamin D just because like I said we need if you're not in a very very sunny state Ohio it's like 50 50 here uh, weather can be really crappy weather can be really great it just kind of depends on the season so vitamin D is awesome I take a standard uh, 5,000 year round sometimes in the winter if I'm feeling like a little down or like have the uh, you know what do they call it like where like the weather like drains you or whatever okay I can't remember it's okay we'll look, we'll look it up we'll put it on the screen for you guys uh, slip in my mind right now. Anyway, I will bump it up to 10,000. Outside of that, I will take vitamin C on occasion. If somebody's sick and stuff like that, then I will take something. Something's got a little bug. Um, my son especially, like I said, he's gonna be going to school next year. So like I said, he's gonna be in a petri dish. So I'm gonna be pumping that immune system up quite a bit just to make sure that I'm not getting in everything that he gets. Um, fortunately, I have not really been sick for about three years. So obviously when you go that long, it's gonna hit you pretty hard. But again, I kind of make sure that I have these things in place so then I'm not getting sick. So I try to eat the best that I can. And especially if I know one of my clients or one of my friends is sick, then I'm gonna do the right thing. I'm gonna take the precautions. So you guys should definitely do that too. Think about what it is you guys are doing. Nutrition is obviously key. I don't have to tell you guys that, but adding in those supplements is an addition to what you're already doing nutritionally, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. That's my opinion on being sick. That's how I got over uh, having food poisoning as quickly as what I did. And also, like I said, helping you guys stay healthy uh, regardless of what's going on around you. Okay, like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the comments that you guys have been leaving. Just let us know what you guys wanna see. There's something specific, if you guys want me to vlog about something specifically, I would love to be able to do that. Until next time guys, thank you so much.